Okay, I want to show you guys what a bad ground does. Um, my, a lot of times you can have a short that can be a, a voltage short that something hot is grounding out. But a lot of times on these vortex, especially, if they don't have a good ground, they won't work right. I was have a, having a problem with my alternator. Um, my amp meter on the gauge was dropping down to 10 volts, 11 volts, 12 volts, back to 12 volts, 11 volts and back to 14, mainly when I had a lot of juice drawing, which was in the evening when I had the lights on. Um, and then I noticed all of a sudden it was like I ran out of fuel on a half a tank. If I filled it back up, it would run again, but only to a half a tank. I couldn't figure out the problem because uh, I thought it was the fuel pump. I kept messing with it. I put another fuel pump in it, as you can see my other video. But now I've just determined the problem. I talked to a buddy of mine. The pump was getting hot. It was getting hot because it was getting too much voltage. It was getting too much voltage because I didn't have a proper ground. So I needed to find this ground. Well, this engine has been pulled out before, and uh, I believe they kept the same transmission. But um, the engine's been pulled and it's been replaced. When I crawled up underneath here, and I hope you can see this, right next to my starter there, I noticed a little bit of arcing there was a spark when I moved this. This plate is a heat shield that goes on the back of my bell housing. This plate also holds my ground. It also holds the hot that goes to the starter. Somewhere in between the time of driving this thing after it's been changed, this has been moving and caused the ground to come loose on the inside and it also wore the positive wire a little bit causing a short which kept making my alternator overcharge. It didn't have a good enough ground, so it thought it needed more voltage, so it was overcharging. The internal regulator wasn't working properly. So I'm gonna take all this apart, and I'm gonna reground this with 2 3 8 bolts on the back side of my bell housing, and I do believe it's gonna fix the problem. So just wanted to show you that, and uh, I'll, uh, I'll start up the truck and we'll check the voltage meter when I'm done. So essentially all I'm gonna do is, uh, I'm not gonna drop my starter, I'm just gonna pull the one ground strap and uh, pull this out, flip it back around the way it goes. Somebody got it in there backwards. You can see the bolt holes are on the wrong side. It needs to go way up in here and on, the, on this side. So when they pulled this engine, they, they pulled the starter first probably and it swung down. And then when they put the other engine in and put the starter back in, it had flopped maybe when the engine was coming in and out. And they thought that it went somewhere on the starter so they just left it. Clearly there's not enough room to get it up on the bell housing now because this ground strap is not supposed to be in there. It's supposed to come around this side here. So uh, we'll check it out. I'll drop this starter, or I'll just pull the one bolt on the starter. I'll pull loose my hot wire to my starter, and I will flip this thing around and get it back in there with two 3 8 uh, nuts on the back of the bell housing. And they didn't have those on there either. So I think maybe after they put the bell housing on, I don't know if you can see that stud. It's right, right above my finger there, right there. There's no nut on it, just, just, the, uh, just the stud that goes inside there. They're treating it like a bolt, and there's dirt right on the tip of it. Clearly, a nut goes on top of that, and the one right up there, I don't know if you can see it way up top to the camera. I'm having to hold this sideways to get the view. But um, clearly, something goes on there. Otherwise, that would just be a bolt on the bell housing, not a stud. So if you have a stud, there's definitely something that needs to go on there with another 3 8 nut. So this is 100% my problem, and uh, my buddy called it right, Mr. Budafuco. All right, guys, I'll be right back. Okay, so I got my ground strap where it's supposed to go on the starter. You can see my plate. Uh, I hope you can see it anyway. My plate is up there where it goes. Got a good size. Did I get? Yeah, I got it. Uh, got a nut on both sides of that. The plate's good. Um, I noticed on the other side of my engine while I was under here, I had some wires that were touching the exhaust right here. I uh, double checked them, made sure nothing was melted and strapped those up out of the way. So it looks like everything's good under here. So now we have the moment of truce. Here was my harness here that was also melted. Let me see if I can show you here where I had to peel it back a little bit. Right in there. That was sitting on my exhaust and she got hot. But I peeled it back a little ways and I checked all the wires. I know you can't see crap, but. Anyway, I checked all the wires and they seemed okay, so I just hung it here for now. I'm going to get a tie strap and fix that. But uh, I went ahead and put the battery cable on. So Now, I, I didn't show you in the beginning my amp meter how it was dropping. I should have showed you that, but 
I'm sure you guys believe me. You've watched my other videos before. You know I don't, I don't bullshit. It is what it is. So I'm going to go ahead and start it. There she is, 14 volts. Sweet. Um, I was only pushing 10 before. Let me turn the headlights on. I'm still over 14 volts. Turn the radio on. Raskin's Jewelers is also now buying gold and Rolex watches. Uh, radio Rolex don't pull much amps, but today. it does help to find out. So turn the uh, turn signal on. See, she dropped just a hair, but she's not moving like she was before. It was clicking down almost a volt every time I turned that on. There's both of them. I'm still at full 14 volts. And not to mention, my fuel pump was a problem. It wasn't kicking on because it was getting hot. So. I'm going to let it idle for a little bit, but I think I figured out the problem. So now, you can see here I got a little less than a half a tank. I had to keep adding gas at that point um, because it would just die. It, it, it would just uh, cut out like I was out of fuel and I couldn't figure it out. It was getting a spark and everything, so I kept putting fuel in it. Well, it was letting the, the pump cool down is what it was, and the extra fuel in it kept the pump warm because the top of the pump is right about in the center of the fuel tank. So. That is just incredible that a ground short would cause that to happen, make it feel like I'm having a, a, uh, a fuel pump problem. I should have cleaned my lens, sorry, it's a little blurry. But uh, just incredible. So once again, Budafuco, you came through. Love you, man. I hope this helped you all. Good luck, enjoy.